welcome back to my channel my name is akanksha and you're watching my channel ak's academy so guys like you all know we've been uh, dealing with partnership let me tell you why partnership is so important partnership is so so important because it comprises of around 35 to 40 marks out of your 80 marks paper that means we're talking about a weightage of 50 percent of your marks and that's the reason why getting this right is extremely important for you all. If you also feel the same, please do go follow me on AK's Academy by Akanksha on Instagram as well as on Facebook so that I can keep sharing different, different notifications as well as material, study material for you all. So guys, partnership is important. We have understood that. In today's class, we'll be talking about interest on capital, how to calculate it and we're also going to see a few examples related to it. So let's understand the calculation of interest on capital. Now, no interest is going to be calculated until and un unless all the partners agree to it and it is expressly put into the partnership deed. When the partnership deed specifically provides for the interest, then only will it be credited to the partner's accounts. Also, you need to have a specific time period for which it needs to be credited. Same way, interest on capital is generally provided in two situations. First situation when the partner contributes an unequal proportion but shares profits equally and the second where the capital contribution um, capital contribution is the same for each partner but the profit sharing is unequal this does not mean anything specifically only thing that you need to remember is that in any situation if the partnership deed states that the interest on capital needs to be paid it needs to be paid in case the partnership deed is absent or is silent, there is not going to be any interest on capital. Your work is solved. Mm -hmm. Interest on capital is calculated with due allowance for any addition or withdrawal. In case there is new capital which has been contributed into the business, interest will also be applicable to that. In case there is any amount which is withdrawn from the capital, please do not give interest on that amount. So we will understand these clauses one by one whenever we take a question. The next thing that is, that is calculation of interest on capital when the addition and withdrawal of capital takes place. So say for example, we have the opening balance. That means the capital which is already existing into the business. On that, you will take the interest on capital for the whole year. Whereas when there is additional capital introduced in the business, if there is any additional capital right from the date there was introduction of capital from that date till the end of the year, how much ever time the capital has been invested into the business, interest will be calculated for that period. In case there is capital withdrawal. Now, when there is capital withdrawal, there are two ways of doing it. Either from the capitals that you already have, you remove that amount and then calculate the interest or you calculate the interest on the capital which has been withdrawn and then subtract it from the total interest that you have calculated. Again, do not get confused. We will see it in solved examples. So this is it. Alternatively, it can be calculated with respect to the amounts which are already remaining in the business. That means after uh, the opening balance, you added the balance which came into the business, subtracted the balance which went away from the business. Any new balance that we arrive at after that remaining in the business, then interest can be calculated on that. So, I will leave it on y'all how you want to calculate it. Until or unless you are getting the answer correct, I don't mind which format you want to use. Let's look at some of the examples. Example 1. Wherein we have Mohini, Rashmi and Naveen entered into partnership bringing 3 lakhs, 2 lakhs and sorry 1 lakh respectively into the business. They decided to share profits and losses equally and agreed that interest on capital will be provided to the partners at 10% per annum. There was no addition or withdrawal 
of capital by any partner during the year so it makes the whole thing only very easy we have the capital is given to us we have the interest on capital also given to us take mohini rashmi and navin 3 lakhs 2 lakhs 10 lakhs at the rate of 10 percent that is 10 upon 100 we get 30 thousand 20 thousand and 10 thousand respectively for mohini rashmi and navi this is the easiest that we could have done now let's take another example take another case of mansoor and reshma who are partners in a firm and their capital accounts showed a balance of 2 lakhs and 1 lakh 50 respectively on april 1st mansoor introduced additional capital of 1 lakh on 1st August. Now, Mansoor has included capital into the business on 1st of August, not 1st of April. And Reshma bought in further amount of capital of 1 lakh 50 on 1st October 2005. Interest is allowed at the rate 6%. Now, we cannot just add 2 lakh with 1 lakh for Mansoor and calculate the interest on it. That will be wrong. Why? Because both belong to different periods. Both have remained in the business for different time periods. So first let's take 2 lakhs for Mansoor. So we have Mansoor 2 lakhs at the rate 6% for the entire year. Then we have the 1 lakh that he introduced as additional capital. But from August to 31st, so we have August, September, October, November, December, Jan, Feb, March, 8 months. So for 8 months at the rate 6% per annum, we will get 16,000 as the total interest. For Reshma, now why don't you all do one thing, pause the video here, go back, do your uh, calculation for Reshma. Find out the answer. If it tallies with 13,500, do give me a like so that I come to know how many of you all have solved it and what the correct answer. Now, for Reshma, what are we going to do? We are going to take 1,50,000 at the rate 6% for the entire year. Why? Because it has been invested into the business for the whole year. Whereas, for, uh, the, for the additional capital, which is 1,50,000, it is going to be 1,50,000 into 6% into 6 upon 12. Why 6 upon 12? Because it was got in or introduced in October. So October, November, December, Jan, Feb, March. Only 6 months has been invested into the business. When we do the calculation, we arrive at 13,500. This was the situation when additional capital is introduced into the business. Next. Let's look at another example. Saloni and Srishti are partners in a firm. Their capital accounts as on April 1, 2005 showed balance of 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs respectively. On July 1, 2005, Saloni introduced additional capital of 50,000 and Srishti 60,000. We have additional capitals. We already know how to deal with additional capitals. On October 1, Saloni withdrew 30,000 and on January 1, Srishti withdrew 15,000 from their capitals. Now, even withdrawals have taken place. Interest is allowed at the rate 8% per annum. Calculate the interest payable on the capital to both the partners during the financial year 2005-2006. Now, this gets a little complicated, so stay on with me. Calculation of interest on capitals. Let's see for Saloni first. For 2 lakhs, it's going to be for the full year, that is 2 lakhs into 8% per annum, which is going to give me 16,000. Add interest on 50,000, she bought additional 50,000, so 50,000. But for how many months? Only for... 9 months, why? Because from July to 31st March, we have to count. So, 9 months, 50,000 into 9 months into 8% will give me 3,000. Now, less, this is important, less the interest on 30,000 for 6 months. Why are we lessing the interest for 30,000 on 6 months? Because she also withdrew. 30,000 rupees on 1st of October. So, 30,000 for 6 months at the rate 8% will give me 1,200. 
that is supposed to be deducted from the total interest on capital because that amount was withdrawn and she does not deserve any interest on capital for that period and for that amount. Then let's move on for Srishti. Now, if you have understood how we calculated for Saloni, pause the video, calculate how to do it for Srishti. If you get it right, do hit the like icon so that I know that you have been following and you're getting it correct. Then we have for Srishti. In case of Srishti, 3 lakhs for the whole year because uh, it was used for the whole year. That means 3 lakhs into 8% which is 24,000. Add interest on 60,000 because she introduced 60,000 when again on 1st July. Hence for 9 months July to March. That is 60,000 into 9 months into 8% per annum which gives me 3,600. Less she withdrew 15,000 but for 3 for three months. I don't know why I have taken 6 months for 3 months because she did it for Jan. Hence we will get 15,000 into 3 upon 12 into 8% which will give me 300 rupees which needs to be subtracted. Why subtracted? Because... It is not in the business anymore and hence does not need any interest on capital, does not deserve an interest on capital. So you subtract that you get 27,300. This was one way of doing it. There is another way of doing the same thing. Let's check that out now. So the next method of doing it is that you calculate 2 lakhs for 3 months. Why? Because after that, after those 3 months, that means uh, till July. So we had April, May, June. April, May, June, 2 lakhs for 3 months is going to give me 4,000. Then the capital changed from 2 lakhs to 2 lakh 50,000 because now she introduced 50,000 in July. So 2 lakh 50,000 for 3 months. Why again 3 months? Because in October she withdrew some money. So I had 2 lakh 50,000 for 3 months. So 2 lakh 50,000 into 3 percent upon into 3 upon 12 into 8 upon 100 will give me 5,000. Then as soon as we reached October, her capital became 2 lakh 20,000. Why? Because 2 lakh 50,000 minus this 30,000. So it became 220 for 6 months which is 220 for 6 months into 8% which gives me 8800. Again, if you understood this method, try once for Srishti on your own. If you get it right, do hit the like so that I know that you are following all my instructions clearly. Now for Srishti, the interest on 3 lakhs is going to be for 3 months because she uh, introduced only the new capital in July. So 3 lakhs for 3 months is going to be 3 lakhs into 3 upon 12 into 8% which is going to give us 6,000. And the interest on 3 lakhs 60. How did we get 360? Because she introduced 60,000. 3 lakh plus 60,000, 360 for 6 months because she withdrew only in January, that is 15,000. So from July to Jan, 6 months, 3 lakh 60,000 into 6 months for 8% will give you 14,400. Then she withdrew 15,000, so 3 lakh 60,000 minus 15,000 which will give you 3 lakh 45,000 for 6 months for 8% which will give you 6,900. This comes to a total of 27,300 which will tally with the previous method. So this is how you are going to do your interest on capital calculation. So guys, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you are notified for the video every time I upload it. Also, in case of any extra uh, material, study material, you can follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook page. That is AK's Academy by Akanksha. You could also um, email me your queries or for any collaborations, do email me at akacademybusiness at the rate gmail.com. Till then, happy learning. Bye-bye.